let's kill two birds with one stone again and show you a play that features two different NBA terms, a zipper screen and a ghost screen. You probably have a reasonable idea of which was which, but let's walk you through it after seeing this Frank Vogel uh, ATO. First of all, zipper screen, nice and simple. It's exactly what's happening right here with Andre Drummond and KCP. And I know it's not the best angle to see the entire thing, but this is a zipper screen, exactly like this. Basically starts with generally a shooter on the block, and he is pretty much going to come off similar to a down screen. It's almost like a type of down screen, but the purpose is not to have like a shooter loop out to the corner or come out at an angle really for a catch and shoot. It's really, generally speaking, just to bring a guy almost directly straight up in like a vertical line, almost like this lane line right here where the free throw line box ends extended so to catch the ball right up here that's the goal of a zipper screen as you see that's exactly what it does for KCP so you'll hear some NBA play calls like zip rub or zip uh, zip fist zip punch things like that of here zip in a play call generally it's this zipper screen right here this is again not a 100% concrete definition I just know that this is exactly what it looks like right here. So not exactly, again, a scoring cut, more of a cut to bring a guy up to catch the ball, even with the lane line right here. Now, the ghost screen, what, again, you might be more familiar with as it's becoming an increasingly popular term, pretty much just means slipping out of a pick and roll. Uh, you see Vogel is going to bring AD up like he's screening to bring KCP to his right, but AD is basically just going to slip right out of there. So the entire goal of it is make Reggie Bullock think he's got a screen coming and he's got to prepare to have Randall helping him stop the ball when really he doesn't have any help because Randall has to get out of there quickly because if he doesn't, Anthony Davis is basically just sprinting right out to the three-point line. So Randall, no screen, no help. Randall's staying with his guy. So now we've created a driving gap for KCP to get into because, again, Reggie Bullock was anticipating the help defender coming in from the screen, Julius Randle. But now that there's no screen, there's no help defender. AD, ghost screen, pop, KCP attacks. Great job by Nerland's Noel. And you know what? We can even probably knock out another couple terms in this video. This is a good example from the corner of 80-20. Alfred Payton. So in the NBA, we call it 80-20 because it's 80% staying home, strong corner, 20% the illusion of help. You see how Alfred basically just jabs at the ball, even tries to get a hand in there. But really, the NBA, you almost never want to help off the strong corner. You're 80% staying home, not leaving, not giving up this corner three. 20%, you can be in there, show, you know, stunt at the ball a little bit, pretend like you're going to help. And Nerlens Noel, great weak side help coming over to block the shot. So we got three terms in that video. Should give you a pretty good idea how much detail goes into every single NBA play. Make sure you thumb up, subscribe, and check out the whole NBA terminology series from Scout with Brian. Instagram at Scout with Brian and Patreon.com slash Scout with Brian if you'd like to support for even $2 a month and get 50 plus bonus videos.